Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this natural glowing skin. It is so beautiful, I love all of the highlights and if you want to know how I got this, keep on watching. So we're going to be starting off by using one of my newest favorite face primers. It's by Laura Mercier and it is the original face primer. It is really good to have a nice face primer. That way your makeup doesn't slip and slide off because nobody wants that. Next I'm taking That Gal Face Primer by Benefit. This primer is going to help brighten our face and also reduce any redness or discoloration in our face. I really want a nice smooth base so this is what we're going for. The foundation I choose to use for this is Max Mineralize Moisture Foundation. This is in the color NC40 and I decided to use this foundation because it gives off a nice dewy look. If you don't set it with any powder it just has that dewy look all day and it just gives you that nice healthy glow. I usually don't have too dry of skin, but I really like this foundation. It's nice and light, and it lets your skin breathe. The concealer I chose to use today was my Handy Dandy Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC in the color NW20 and NW25. The NW25 is more of a skin-colored concealer for me, and the NW20 is a lighter concealer. Mixing them together gives me the perfect shade of concealer. It's not too light, not too dark, and I just blended it out with my Beauty Blender on the pointed side. I love using my Beauty Blender for concealer. It just smooths it out so nice, and it gives you that nice, flawless finish. For bronzer, I'm using Hoola by Benefit. This is the perfect shade of bronzer. It's not too orange and it's not too muddy looking. And I just blended that out in the hollows of my cheek with a MAC 109 brush. And then I took it up to the temples of my forehead, on my chin, and a little bit around my nose, not too much. And this just gave us the perfect warmth in our skin. For blush, I'm using Max Copper Tone. It is a really pretty orange tone shade, and for me personally, I love my orange tone blushes. I just placed it on there with a Sigma contour brush, and I placed it on the apples of my cheek and blended it outwards. And then I took a stippling brush, and I just blended that contour and that blush together to give us the perfect, perfect shade. This next product is a little bit of a newer product for me. It's Benefit's What's Up Highlighter. This is just a little sample size and I really like it. It's a beige toned color highlighter and I just place it on the top parts of my cheeks and then I rub it out with my fingers and I just keep rubbing it. It kind of warms up the product to blend it evenly into my skin. And then I take a little bit on my, the whatever's left on my finger and I just blend it all the way down my nose. This is a perfect highlighter base for me. This next highlighter it has been my absolute favorite. It's from MAC's new Magnetic Nude Collection and it is fairly precious and it's an extra dimension skin finish. I love this highlighter. I love it even more than I love Soft and Gentle. It's just a really nice subtle pink beigey colored highlighter and it looks great with everything. And this is Max Sensual Sparks, also from the new Magnetic Nude Collection. I love this lipstick. It has an orangey nude color to it, and it just looks really, really good with everything. And I thought it was perfect for this look since everything that we use is, has a little bit of an orangey base to it. For this lipstick, I'm using MAC Strip Down. This is a newer lip liner pencil for me, and let me tell you, I love it. It's like the perfect nude brown lip liner, and I think it looks really, really good with this. I mean, it just gives you that nice, like, little ombre effect where it's, like, darker on the lip liner and, like, lighter in the center. So I think it looks really good with it. And for a gloss to add a little bit of shine, I'm using MAC Over Spice Lip Gloss. This is also from the Magnetic Nude Collection, and and let me tell you, it is the perfect shade for a nude lip gloss, and I love it. And lastly, for an inner corner highlight to give us that last bit of glow, I'm using Max Rice Paper in the inner corners, and I am in love with this shadow. It just gives you that nice highlight, and it looks really, really good.
Alright you guys, so that is it for this glowy skin tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really really like the way this turned out. So let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.